Good morning and welcome again to this uh, small module on architecture and design. As system builders, we architect and we design. Let us have a small discussion on what the difference between these two is. So, I looked up the Oxford English Dictionary to see what they say what architecture is and this is what they seem to say. The complex or carefully designed structure of something is architecture. They seem to know that uh, computer people do architecture, they also have something like this. The conceptual structure and logical organization of a computer or a computer based system is architecture. So, it is talking about structure of a system, that is architecture. Then I try to see what they mean by design and this is the definition I find. A plan or drawing produced to show the look and functioning of a building, garment or other object before it is made. So, they are talking of artifacts that are used in constructing the final product before it is made. So, it is a guideline, it is a help before you actually go and build the artifact. We talk about fashion design, fashion designers. So, it is about the garment, how long and it is going to be, what material it is made of, how it is cut, how it is stitched how it should be worn, all these are specifications that go with garment design. So, what I try to do, this seems to be the way people use the term design. So, design is closer to the final manufacturing, architecture is before that, talking about what it consists of, what are the structures. The point about architecture and design is both are verbs and nouns. That means, you often use architecture as a verb in the sense, I am going to architect something. So, that is a verb. You also use design as a verb, I am going to design my system. So, design is in this context used as a verb. So, architecture as well as design both are verbs. They are also nouns. They said, please describe the architecture. That means, architecture is an artifact, it is used as a noun and we want to know about it. So, I ask often ask what is the design, where design is a noun. So, architecture is both design and a sorry architecture and design both are nouns and verbs. We often use the phrase design and architecture, this adds to the confusion and we say architect a design. So, architecture is used as a verb, where the produce is a design and design is used as a verb, where the product is a architecture. I went to Google images and typed software architecture and see what comes out, to see what people describe their images as software architecture diagrams. So, this is what we see, it is quite interesting, these seem to fit our uh, understanding of what architecture should be. What is it? If I look at it as a diagram, it is a box and line diagram. So, all these are boxes and lines, all these are boxes and lines, right. So, this is also a box and line diagram, there is an enclosure relationship between them. So, the lines are not drawn, but they, they exist. So, boxes and arrows constitute what software architecture diagrams are about. So, then I said, let us see what people talk, how people use the term design. So, I did the same thing for design and I get this. Again, I get some images. So, again there are boxes and uh, lines or arrows between them. These are also box and line diagrams, but somehow these were called design diagrams. These were not tagged as architecture diagrams, but structurally they seem to both have boxes and arrows and some kind of relationship between them. So, probably it is a, a terminological or a usage difference, that is what I want to discuss today. If you look at the literature, you walk, uh, come across statements like this, all architecture is design, but not all design is architectural. What does this mean? So, if you remember in architecture, what are we interested in? 
we are interested in deconstructing the system, so that some quality attributes are met. This is a very critical issue. I need to address the quality attribute requirements, quality attribute concerns. Architecture is all about making a choice, so that my performance is acceptable, my security is managed or I get a system which is modifiable. Trying to deconstruct the system, if quality attribute requirements are driving the deconstruction, that means I am deconstruction is I am designing the system and the concern is architectural, then I am doing architecture. Sometimes you may be deconstructing the system with functional concerns in mind. I need to compute this parameter, to compute this parameter I will compute this and I then I will compute this. Okay. So, that is again deconstructing the system, but the driver is not architectural, is functional. Okay. So, I am designing, but I am not doing architectural design. So, that is the meaning of this explanation. We also come across this term architectural design versus design, detailed design. So, it is often used in the context architectural design is higher level design, where I am taking the system and making up into components and maybe in the detailed design I am further reconstructing the system into smaller components. So, given this is this is the background, I think we should try to agree upon something, so that our conversation happens easily. But before that, let me also point out that the literature talks of two things. It talks of architectural styles and design patterns. We will see about styles and patterns in a while in the next lecture, but they try to differentiate between, they use the term architectural style, when they are talking about how the subsystems of a system, the architectural diagram interact with each other, they interact in a particular style, that is they use the word architectural style. And uh, then they use the term design pattern. Okay. Um, but often they you encounter people using the term architectural pattern as well. So, what I am going to do is actually use them interchangeably in the sense I will use the term architecture pattern as well or a design pattern. And under the constraint, when the scope of our reasoning is components, that means the diagram I am drawing is a component diagram, components and their interaction. I call that architecture. When the scope of our diagrams, the scope of our reasoning, the scope of our re deconstruction is objects and classes, the granularity is smaller, then I call it design. As I said, this is a definition which we will use, so that there is the communication is easier between us. When I mean architecture, you understand what I mean and when I mean design, you understand what I mean. Uh, the literature does not seem to have a standard which is agreed upon. People, uh, people use, it, use it interchangeably quite often, you have to understand from the context. But architecture is about components and component interactions, design is about objects, classes and their interactions and you have patterns amongst these objects and classes or patterns amongst these components. This is a very simple definition, it is easy to follow. So, as a homework what I would like you to do is, whenever you encounter a system or whether when you are, when you are building a system, when you are designing a system, when you are architecting a system, when you are deconstructing a system. Try to 
think about what is the scope, what is the granularity of the participating artifacts. Are you reasoning at component level or are you reasoning at object level? In either case, if the concerns are quality attribute concerns, you are doing design or architecture. Thank you.